Yo, 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 what is good everybody? Welcome to the channel. It is T Ultra here. And in this no money spent video, we are going to be adding quite a few goat cards to our squad. And we are going to be trying to lock in that uh, Showtime set for um, Galaxy Opal Kareem. And before we do any of that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 300 subscribers. So it would be greatly, greatly appreciated if you could subscribe to the channel. Now, with that being said, let's just do this poll quick. Get this out of the way. Who's your my team goat? Uh, I mean, go with Giannis, I guess. I don't know. I like that Giannis card. Ooh, four tokens. It's usually like, what, three? 2K is really bumping it up there. All right. But yeah, guys, so we have um, added some goats already. I'll go over that later in this video. But the main thing I want to go over right now is this. Richard Lewis. You need Richard Lewis to lock in that uh, Showtime set for Galaxy Opal Goat Kareem. And guys, I'm just gonna be ill, man. Um, so Friday morning, Friday, August 7th, before 10 a.m. Central Time, before the packs came out, this Richard Lewis was a buy now. I am not kidding you. And it wasn't like a, a snipe, really. Like if you set the filter there, like at 100K buyout, there was consistently, you know, at least one up. Like there might be a little period where there wasn't one up, but you could find one very easily. I saw some for going, going for under 100k MT. I even saw one sitting up there for maybe like two minutes that was going for 80 something K MT. So the fact that I did not pull the trigger right there is making me very, very upset because I do want to get this card to lock in for Galaxy Opal Goat Kareem. And as you can see, his price has already gone way, way back up. So um, what we're going to do actually in this video, guys, is first and foremost, we are going to claim our MT that we got from selling um, the rest of these cards. So in my most recent no money spent video, I went and sold a bunch of cards in my collection for MT. This gold Marquis Chris actually sold for almost 2K MT. That's crazy. But so we sold cards from my collection and then we also opened a bunch of free packs and I sold um, the cards that I got from those packs for a little bit of MT. So I'm just going to add that here quickly so we have that to play with as we're going through and trying to get this Kareem. And then this is a diamond contract. It sold for a little under 12k MT. Those really lost a lot of value, but 2k20 is almost over. So there's really no point in having a diamond contract at this stage of the game. So I think what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to try to open one of these uh, 1,000 token packs. I'm going to try to open the one where you can get either Giannis or Richard Lewis or Wiseman. Hopefully we can get Richard Lewis. Um, and if you guys are wondering why I didn't buy him when he was a buy now, I forgot to mention this. I assumed his price was gonna keep going down. There's guaranteed goat packs. So I thought, oh, there's no reason for people to lock in for, you know, goat Kareem. Cause people are just gonna, you know, buy the other cards. <laughs> and then as soon as those pack packs came out, he just skyrocketed in value we had yet again. So that was super annoying. But yeah, um, we're going to lock in some of these heat check sets so that we can get to a thousand tokens. So um, we do have the Knicks. Man, I really wish I would have bought him when I could. It's super annoying, but it's in the past. Hopefully we can still get that Kareem card. So we locked in the Knicks and the Wizards. So that's 50 tokens. Let's go ahead and lock in this set right here. That's 75 tokens. The Kings. That will be 100 tokens that we made in this video so far. And we need to finish one more set. So let's see. Let's see what this Pacer set is looking like. What's McDermott? Oh, welcome to the squad, Doug. Glad to have you, bro. Are there any more that we can, can uh, complete just for the heck of it? Let's see. Let's see. Hey, man. I'll add this guy. And then... Oh, whoops. Grant Williams. I'll hold off on that. I, I bet I can get him cheaper than that. All right, so that's probably all we're gonna do for right now. So I'll, let's go ahead and add those cards to the collection. Lock in the Pacers heat check set. And we've made over a hundred tokens in this video now. So we should be able to open one of those packs. If 2K, thank you, if 2K ever lets me go. And all right, locked it in. And just like that, we are now over a thousand tokens, just barely, 1,004 tokens, all right. So now we're going to go to the pack market. We're just going to open this one, see what we can get. I mean, if I get Wiseman, I'm getting a good center. If I get Richard Lewis, I'm getting the key piece that I need to get Kareem. And if I get Giannis, I'm getting a card that I can either use or sell for a decent amount of MT. He's still going for a little bit, 
Nothing crazy, but with that being said, guys, let's open this pack. Here we go. Come on. I want to see Richard or Giannis. Richard or Giannis. Richard or Giannis. Preferably Richard because he's going for the most. Oh, Jesus is. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I really had a feeling. I had a feeling it was going to be Wiseman. And don't get me wrong. Wiseman's elite. He's a great center. There was a time when many people thought he was the second best center in the game and Kareem was the best. So I'm probably just going to keep Wiseman. I'm probably just going to keep him. And maybe see if his value goes up. Uh, maybe I'll sell him. Maybe if Rashard Lewis, if his value goes down. But oh my god. Oh, I can't even afford him anymore. He okay, so he was going for under 100k right before the packs came out, and then uh, right when the packs came out, he's going for you know a little over 100k, a little like 200, 100, 200k, and then at one point I looked and he was going between 100 and 200, and now oh my goodness, he's he's probably gonna end for 400k MT, which is insanity. Ay ay ay, 2k. What is going on with the market? So hopefully his price goes down a little bit. I mean I don't know if it's gonna be a buy now, but. What we can do in this video, actually, though, is we can still buy the rest of the cards that we need for that set. And I might actually record this in two parts because it is a little bit later in the day on Friday the 7th. It's nighttime, so I might just wait until Saturday the 8th to drop this video. There's Wiseman. But, um, yeah, I might, just make, I might make this into a two-part video, see if I can get a hold of that Richard Lewis for this video. So we need Jimmy Butler... We need Shaq, and we need Chris Webber. These guys are not really going for that much MT. This set just, oh my goodness, it changes in value so, so much. It's insane, like, throughout the year. So we're going to go ahead and add Chris Webber. Because, listen, I'm buying these cards right now while their value is down. I'm not making the same mistake again. I'm not going to wait. Um, why can't I find him? Webber. Okay. Yeah, I'm not making the same mistake again by not just buying him. So... Oh, yeah, he's going for under 30k. All right, 27,050. All right, so we added Chris Weber for 27k. Let's go ahead and add, should we do Shaq next? Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, shk. I spelled shk. Uh, Galaxy Opal Center. And this is the Showtime. There are, there are multiple Galaxy Opal Shacks, so. All right, Showtime. Oh, yeah, he's not even selling for 36. Yo. All right, so we're about to get a good deal here as well. 20, should I have bought that right away? Okay, let's see. Should I buy this one actually? He's got 28 contracts and a diamond shoe. I might buy this one for just slightly more. But what is it boost? I mean, I don't even know if I'm gonna use this card though. I'll just buy it, why not? It's only, it's less than a thousand more. It improves some of his, uh, his inside scoring some defense he has more contracts i mean theoretically that's a better deal either way it's not like a major it doesn't make a big difference and then jimmy butler is the next card that we are going to add and is he a shooting guard or small forward small forward let's see yep and this guy's very very cheap too okay so that's at least good and richard lewis even though his price has skyrocketed from where it was earlier on friday before those uh goat packs came out He's still way cheaper than he used to be. There was a time when, wasn't he over 2 million MT at one point? Which is insane. So yeah, Jimmy Butler, I mean, just under 27K MT. That's totally fine with me. So we'll go ahead and add these guys to the squad. That Chris Weber card has a diamond shoe too. I didn't even realize that. All right, Shaq. And then Jimmy Buckets. Come to me, dude. So all we're missing is Rashard Lewis and we can get go Kareem. Yo. Ah. Uh, 350k man to i if i would have bought that card let's just say for 100k i'd still have 160k left and i would have goat kareem this goat kareem would be mine oh my goodness gracious golly well like i said i'm gonna wait until saturday to post this video i'm gonna see if i can try to get that card um i'm gonna you know try to get some more mt on my hands and see if we can afford that Richard Lewis. But for now, um, I'm also going to go over the GOAT cards that we added. So um, if we go to the GOAT collection, we recently added Tim Duncan for 10,300 MT. 
Hakeem for 14,950, Dirk for 9,500, and then we added Bill Russell for 9,900. And then um, I'm gonna count this towards a GOAT card that we're adding in this video because I technically never formally introduced you guys to this card in my in a no money spent video. I made a gameplay video with him, but we also went 12 and 0. Uh, I mean, it must've been like, it wasn't the first day, it was like the second or third, maybe even fourth day of August. Either way, we got Oscar Robertson. Um, so since I last gave you an update on my uh, GOAT cards, we added one, two, three, four, five. Five if you count Oscar Robertson, because this is kind of me introducing him in a no money spent video. So we are pretty close to being able to make an entire GOAT squad. And it would really, really be cool if we could get that um, Kareem card. And we're also going to buy another GOAT who is John Stockton. John, I probably should have been more specific. John, there's a lot of Johns out there. John Stockton. And you know what? Let's see, oh yeah. He's um, a very, very cheap card right now. He's not that good from what I hear. He's just kind of small. Oh my, wow, way under 10K. But um, we're just adding him. He's a GOAT card. He's super cheap. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Might as well. He's going for under eight. Thank you very much. We got him for 7,950. So just like that, that is our, that's our fifth GOAT card that we added today. Sixth, if you count GOAT Bill Russell, or sorry, not Bill Russell, Oscar Robertson. And we're still trying to get Kareem. So I'll check Richard Lewis one more time here quick before I end off part one on Friday night. See if we can sneak in there. Okay, so that one's going for probably under 300K. So if his price doesn't go up too much more, knock on wood, um, we should be able to. Loki, I mean, I could sell that Wiseman. I could if I really need to. Yeah, because essentially I'd be selling Wiseman for Kareem, right? If, if, if that gave me enough MT. But Wiseman, he's super cheap. We can check his price now if you want. Um, and then we'll end off the first part of the video. So James Wiseman, he's, when I was looking, he there were some going for 70K MT. And again, this is like 10 p.m., 10, 10 to 11 p.m. Uh, Central Time where I'm at on Friday night, the 7th. So prices could change by tomorrow. Like, I mean, you saw even today um, that Richard Lewis, his price changed by hundreds of thousands of MT. So yeah, I mean, this guy's not even going for 70K. There's one sitting here for 59K and no one's buying it. So <sighs> he's a good card though. So I, that's why I think it's probably better to just keep him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna try to get some more MT and see if we can get that Richard Lewis and get that go Kareem. Yo, what is good, everybody? It is now Saturday, August 8th, and guys, this Richard Lewis, his price just keeps going up, and I played some TTO. I did a little single-player challenge where I got like 2,400 MT and 15 tokens, and then other than that, like I said, I was doing some TTO trying to get enough MT to buy Richard Lewis, and as I kept adding MT to my inventory, his price just keeps rising. So like, as you can see right here, I can't even afford to put a bid on this one and there's 13 minutes left. So I'm really, really, really regretting not just purchasing, you know, the Richard Lewis um, on Friday morning when he was a buy now. I, for, I literally thought the packs would come out. Everyone would sell about, you know, all their cards, Richard Lewis. I thought he'd go down to like, you know, 50K MT. And that clearly did not happen. He was in those uh, Showtime packs. And then once the GOAT packs came out, he was no longer... Those uh, 2K took the Showtime packs out of the pack market. So people aren't pulling him anymore. So I'm guessing his price is just going to keep going up. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford him in this video. I did sell this diamond shoe right here for 7900 I also finished some agenda goal. I don't think it's worth MT though. <laughs> yeah, 2K really... Why is this even a thing? A gold ink ball. I already have that, so I'm just gonna have to sell that. It's only 500 MT, I believe. I do have 18 free packs right here that I got from playing TTO. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open these and show you everything that I get from it that I'm gonna be selling, and then we'll see how much MT we can make from that. I'm not gonna show me opening the packs in the video um, unless I pull something like interesting actually, but I'll, I'll let you guys know like what I end up selling. So here we go. Yo, I just pulled a pink diamond on the first pack. 
this might be a good sign. I don't know if, who goes for a lot of MT in this set, but I think some pink diamonds do. Let's go ahead and flip it here, see what it is. Okay, Nyx, pink diamond. Is this Bernard King? Yo, Bernard? Hold up, hold up, hold the phone. Hold the phone, Ski. Hold the phone here. Hold up. Hold up. Bernard King. He might go for a little bit. Okay, yo, yo! That's fire! That's fire. So there's one for 25. I'll throw him up for 24. I'll throw him up for 24 KMT. All right, we'll see if he sells and then I will go ahead and open the rest of these packs here and then we'll try to make as much MT as we can to hopefully afford Richard Lewis. Yo, we got another pink diamond. I know I said I wasn't gonna show you this pack opening unless I got something good, but we've got two pink diamonds already. So maybe that's a good sign. Let's see what it is. I mean, it's probably a League Series 2 card, so I don't know if any of these even go for a lot of MT. Is this Harden? Okay, this is James Harden. Okay, Pink Diamond, Current Series 2, Harden. Yo, we're getting lucky. We are getting lucky, yo. That is not too bad. Let's see. Let's see how much he's going for. Um, I'm gonna quick sell this jersey. And then we're gonna send, send him to our auctions. We'll check his price here. Let's see. Uh, I mean, better than nothing, but still nothing crazy. Oh yeah, he's not a lot. I'll let you know what he ends up selling for once I show you all the other stuff I end up pulling. We just got a Carmelo Anthony, and I think low-key, he might actually go for a decent amount of MT because he might be somewhat rare. I'll, I'll check his price here quick. I mean, a decent amount, not, not bad but nothing, nothing too wild. Yo, we just ended up getting a diamond on our last pack. Um, I'm not really sure what it's gonna be, but either way, I don't know if any of these diamond cards are really that valuable anyways. Looks like it's gonna be Steph Curry, current series two. So I mean, that's nice. That's better than getting like an, an uh, emerald or something. But even at this point, even those cards really probably don't go for a lot of MT. I'm gonna show you all the stuff that we've got from that pack. So I ended up selling these two cards so far. And then from that pack opening, we got all of these cards. I threw some of them up for um, like an auction already. This is the rest of the stuff that we got. Um, we got a lot of jerseys as well. And then let's see, we also added, so I went through actually the other day and I sent a bunch of my uniforms to the auction house. So as a result, I pulled some of those same jerseys just a little bit ago when I opened those packs. I pulled some of the same jerseys that I just recently sold. Um, so they got re-added back to my collection because I just pulled them and I, they weren't duplicates anymore, you know what I'm saying? Because um, I didn't have the jersey anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and send these all to the auction house quick. In fact, I'm probably just going to quick sell all the jerseys. So let's just start doing that from here. Okay, of course, there's only one left. So yeah, we are no longer going to be at exactly 300k, but that's all good. So we're going to quick sell these jerseys. We got a bunch of shoes. I'll sell those in a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to focus on selling all of this stuff. And then I'm going to go ahead and let's see how many jerseys we have. Oh, yeah, we have quite a few jerseys. I'm just going to go ahead and quick sell those jerseys, these logos, uh, these playbooks, this arena, and Fizdale. All right, so we sold all of those miscellaneous items, except for these two city jerseys, because I think these might go for a little bit more MT, so we're probably going to auction those off. So low-key, some of these cards don't even sell for that much more than I can just quick sell them for. Like Steph Curry, there's some for 2K MT up right now that are just sitting there. Uh, Rick Smith, I mean, I could probably sell them for like 1K MT, so we're just going to quick sell these guys right here, um, because it's probably not worth waiting just to make a couple hundred MT, to be honest. I'm actually just going to go ahead and quick sell these uh, four current series cards right here because they're not really selling for much more than I could just quick sell them for. And let's check our auction outcome, see what else sold. Okay, Bernard King sold for 24350 And these guys also sold for a little bit of MT. I sold this Raptor City jersey for 500 Okay. All right, so we're at 333 I still don't think that's enough. I really don't. We'll check, we'll check though. We'll check. 
Yo, imagine. I'm just gonna go through now and sell all of my bronze, silver, and gold shoes. As you can see, I have quite a few, so hopefully we can make a little bit of MT from that. All right, so we sold the shoes. I still don't think that's gonna be enough to really help us out here. And nothing else seems to have sold from this stuff. Even if all this stuff sold, I mean, what would it put us at? Like another, you know, that would be like 11. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at maybe about 20K MT. So we'd be better about, about like 359, 360. And that Richard Lewis, he's I believe he's going for more than that, which is crazy. I could have bought this guy for under, under 100K. Literally under 100K. I could have easily bought this guy yesterday morning, Friday morning. I could have just bought him. I was... In my mind, I was like, oh, why would I pay 100K when his, he's about to be like 50K? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my goodness, that was so dumb of me. And I would sell this Wiseman card that we got, but like Loki, he's not going for a lot of MT. He's going for like 60, 70K. And he's a very good center in his own right. So it makes sense to just kind of keep him and use him. Yo, hold up, everybody. We might be able to make one final push to get a Richard Lewis. So what we're going to do right here, actually, I saw that there were a couple coming up that were about to end so we're gonna redeem all of this stuff here come on hurry 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 we got less than a minute go 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 my collections go to premium showtime all right let's put a bid on this guy not the highest bidder not the highest bidder i've bid i have bid i want to go all in i want to go all in i want to go all in i've bid oh my goodness gracious golly Oh man, so if we don't get this one, we're gonna have to be really quick to try to get the next one. Active bids. Active bids, active bids. We're still the highest, apparently. I'm the highest, I'm the highest. I'm the highest in the auction house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness, three, two, one. <gasps> no way. Did we get him? No way! We got him! We got him! Yo! Oh my goodness, we got him. We got him for like what, 300, about 300k MT? We got Richard Lewis, oh my goodness, 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 oh my goodness. Yo! Oh my goodness. Should we lock it in boys? And girls? And everyone, let's do it. We locked it in. We locked it in. Let's go. I did not think we were going to be able to get him in this video. You know, I'm not even mad anymore that I didn't pay the uh, 100k MT when that was his price. I I'm perfectly fine with that now because all that matters is we got Goat Opal, Galaxy Opal, Kareem. Let's go. That is crazy. Flip it. Show me Kareem. Show me Kareem. Show me Kareem. There he is, Lakers. Center. There's his feet. And there he is. Goat Galaxy Opal Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Let's go, baby. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. So our goat squad is looking mighty, mighty fierce. And he forms a dynamic duo with magic. Yo, and that magic card is not going for a lot of MT. Let's go. Oh my goodness. We got him. We got him, boys. Yo. So in this video, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We bought six opals. Well, we bought five. We locked in for one. And we went 12 and 0 for Oscar Robertson a while ago. And I, I, this is my first time introducing him in a no money spent. So we're going to count it towards the total. So again, one, two, three, four, five six seven goat opals in one video and with that being said we are going to add these cards to our goat squad here i i can't even control what i'm doing right now oh my goodness we got him dude i literally recorded a whole outro and everything already because I, I i just kind of settled for the fact that we weren't going to get him and then we got him unbelievable so all right kareem is going to be replacing bomba all right kareem get in the squad bro where is he? Oh my goodness. Okay, Kareem is going there. 
And then Wiseman, low key, he's replacing AD. Like, that's just the way it is. Actually, he's going to replace Bosch. He's going to replace Bosch, James Wiseman. We'll put Anthony Davis in the third string. Yo, this is looking fierce. This is looking mighty, mighty fierce. Let's go. We got Goat Kareem. That's crazy. But yeah, guys, I literally, I just, I was like, there's no way we're going to get him. I, I tried bidding on a few of them and I just couldn't get them. And I literally already was like, all right, I, I recorded an outro. And in the outro, I was like, I guess we're not going to get him. <laughs> and then a little bit later when I was exporting everything, I was like, you know what? There's quite a few Richard Lewis's up. I think we might be able to get one. And then I, I bid on one and we didn't get him. And I'm like, no, we're going to try one more time to get him. And we got him on the last attempt. Unbelievable. Wow, we got Goat Kareem. So anyways, that is absolutely incredible. And that is going to do it for this video. We got a bunch of Goat Opals. We currently, how many Goat Opals do we have now? We have, let's see, let's see. Go to rewards. We have 10 goats. 10 goats, guys. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for the video. Thank you for watching. This was a super awesome video. We added a bunch of goat cards to our squad, including Goat, Galaxy Opal, Kareem, which is insane. So thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.